In the men's 100 meter race, hit one, Fiji and Banuve Tabakaukoro breezes through the line comfortably, clocking a time of 10.50 seconds. Papua New Guinea's Nazmi Lee came in second with 11.14 seconds. In hit two, Kupun Whistle came first, clocking a time of 10.86 seconds. Like, bigger, bigger show me. I haven't, I haven't been racing for, uh, for a long time, so this is my first race. Uh. And in hit three, Wesley Logorava with a time of 11.3 seconds to qualify. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to my no, the ra next race. So uh, probably put up a, a good fight, a good fight. Then I come the next round. You're pretty sure our boys will do well in that. I mean, Kupun finished first in his first heat. So, oh no, Kupun is a is a is our senior athlete. He's, he's been he's been around for quite a long time now. So yeah. It's going to be uh, tough. Answer new at least, so hopefully I stay close to him. Come the next round. All three qualifies for the next round. In the women's 100 meter sprint, Miriam Penny put up a dazzling fight at the finishing line to edge out Fiji and Helena Young in the time of 13.39 to qualify. Well, before the race, I was extremely nervous and then got into the blocks, did some run throughs. I started to like psych myself up, so yeah, I think after the race, I did pretty well. Yeah. How does it feel competing in home crowd here and getting behind you? How does it feel? I feel really privileged. I mean, family's behind me, everyone else, the whole country's behind me. And yeah, it's, it's just a great feeling. In Decathlon 400 meter finals, Robson Yenambe ran an impressive race, finishing first to claim gold. Feeling fantastic, awesome. To the crowds, to everyone that supported me. Credit to all. And in women's 500 meter finals, Awa Ongen and Merrick Milgo finished second and third respectively. Yeah, in Solomon Islands.